Hey, let's play and welcome back to more Pokemon Heart Gold. Uh, as you can see, we have ourselves a Zubat. I called him Wrath for the Wrath of Zubat. And I'll show you what else we're doing here as we leveled up Petal Dial up to level 15, so we did a lot of grinding off of camera. And obviously, we got a level 9 Zubat who I caught at a level 4, so you know, just a bit to get him some moves, anyways, because all he had was flipping Leech Life, and that wasn't good enough for me. So let's make our way across this bridge. Ignore every villager you see. And make our way into the tower. The Sprout Tower to be exact. And as you can see there's bell sprouts everywhere. Is there any hidden items around here? It doesn't look like it. So let's just keep on moving and work our way up this ladder. Alright. So you have to go to the Sprout Tower first before you can face the gym leader and here's our first battle inside this tower however hard we battle the tower will stand strong okay we'll see about that all right you're challenged by sage nico and there you go bell sprout so you know pedal dial could pretty much take out all these bell sprouts but i want to get wrath you know some xp and level them up a bit to get him a wing attack so it'd be a lot easier to kill sprout bell sprouts i think i get uh wing attack at 11 if I'm not mistaken so we're almost there you know a couple battles and we should be able to have wing attack and be able to go through this no problem at all I will keep battling like all you're gonna see in this tower is bell sprouts up the ass and I think maybe a hoot hoot or two it's kind of annoying because you know seeing the same enemy over and over and over and over and over and over again is really annoying it's like facing team rocket if you face team rocket you get the same two flipping Pokemon each time Gets a little old and repetitive, but got to do what you got to do, I guess. All right, so that guy was no match for us. Grab yourself a Pokeball here. Paralyze Heal. It's not a bad thing to have, especially when you're facing flipping Grass type or Bug type Pokemon. Second battle of the tower. What does this guy have to say? We stand guard in this tower. Okay. Here we express our gratitude to show our respects for all Pokemon. For all Pokemon, but for some reason all of them have Bellsprout, so... And there's shrines of Bellsprout everywhere, so I don't know what you're talking about, Sage Chow. Look, more Bellsprouts! Yay! Alright, so, continue to do the same thing. Use Astonish on him. You can use Leech Life, too. Obviously, it's a bug move. It does, I guess, a decent amount of damage. Nothing too spectacular, though. Alright, so, upgrade to level 10. We're going to keep battling with Zubat, the Wrath of Zubat. Keep using that speed button so this goes by a little bit quicker than it normally would. It's a lot helpful. Another Bellsprout. No, we'll keep battling. Thank you. We're running out of Astonishes, though. Uh, let's see what a Leech Life does. Eh, does around, I guess, the same amount of damage. Maybe a bit less, but, you know, nothing too serious. So. Almost one more shot and he'll be dead. All right. 54 experience. Yeah, we're getting close to that level 11. I believe it's level 11. You got wing attack. Might be 12, but I'm hoping it's 11. That's what I'm banking on. All right. An X accuracy. I never use those, so I'll probably end up selling those. All right. And Bell Sprout. No, Rattata. When I catch Rattata, usually I do, but I'm not even going to bother with it. So I will just take you down. I don't think Leech Life's going to do much to you, but we'll see what happens. Eh, nothing, nothing too bad. Might as well use it though. And down goes Ravta. These guys are really strange looking, man. They're all bald. They're like some part of a cult or something. I sway like leaves in the wind. Okay. I'm gonna kick your ass like, I don't know, leaves in the wind. Couldn't think of anything clever to say there. <laughs> Alright. Let's use Astonish on this one and hopefully take him out real quick. There we go. So I think one more bell sprout, and we should be able to let's use supersonic on him, get him confused. Hopefully, he'll do a little bit of damage to himself. Yeah, I think one more of these guys, and we might be able to get our uh, wing attack. That'd be nice. And no, one more. Okay, after we beat this guy, we'll definitely have it for sure. Let's use another supersonic. Hopefully, that works. And he slaps himself in the face of his own vines, like he just did there. And one more shot and you're dead, son. Perfect. Alright. So, level 11. Do we get the attack? 
I'm correct. Doesn't look like it, so I was wrong, apparently. That kind of sucks. So anyways, since we didn't get the attack, I guess it's like level 12 or whatever, I am just going to switch to Pedal Dial. Since he's level 15, he should be able to take care of these Bell Sprouts, no problem, even though he is weak against Grass-type moves. I don't think there's anything we have to worry about. I'm pretty sure he'll get one-shot kills, no matter what. Hero found a potion. Hero put the potion in the medicine cup cabinet or whatever capsules pockets I tried to find intelligence in Pokemon enlightenment not intelligence if I was intelligent I would have read that correctly uh, there's no E in the beginning of intelligence sage Jin from Tekken level 6 so yeah so the flipping bell sprouts get a little bit tougher now but I'm pretty sure a bite will take care of it in one shot hopefully yes it does alright perfect it's nothing to worry about. 108 XP. That's not bad. It's a good amount of points right there. Alright. He only had one, so that's a big plus. So I have to battle like six of them. The other's TM lights even pitch black darkness. So he probably has flash. That would be my guess. Pretty useless. I never use it. But anyways. Sage Neal sent out a bell sprout. Alright. Another level six bell sprout. It's going to get munched on. So nama namas. And you're dead. See you later. Okay, last guy. I don't have to battle him, I don't think, but we'll battle him anyways. Uh, while the rat had appeared, I don't even care. I'm just going to run away from it. Don't have to, but I'm going to because uh, that's the way I do things. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. I really can't do an old Asian voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, another Bellsprout. Level 7. All right, maybe we should have avoided this one. Let's see. Hopefully, a good thing the bite stunned them. A Hoot Hoots. Uh, we're going to keep battling. Uh, we'll bite the Hoot Hoots. I think it should be a one shot. No? Okay. Well, that one will. So that was easy. Sage Troy. Troy Troy the Wonder Boy. Oh, look who it is. Elder. You showed us what you got. And it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Here's Skrillex. The dubstep of doom. Humph. He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Skrillex used escape rope. I can't remember the voice I gave him last time, but uh, I'm pretty sure in every part he'll have a different voice because I'm mentally retarded that way. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds. To build a bright future together, I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. So, now you gotta beat the crap out of this old man. Elder Lee. That is clever. Very clever, Nintendo. All right, take a chunk out of this flipping twig. It's all she freaking wrote for you. Level 16. All right, another bell sprout. Not surprising at all. Take a chunk out of him too. And your final guy, Hootoo. That's what I thought. Okay, we'll take a chunk out of him. Level 10. That's your highest Pokemon, but it was a critical hit. So Petadal didn't really need you, but I could have done that all by myself. Hmm. The way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Faulkner, and you should be able to make good use of this. It's a technical machine called called Flash. Take it with you. Attain the TM70. So that's our first TM of the LP. When a Pokemon learns Flash, you can illuminate caves no matter how dark they may be. You can try it on Bellsprout, for example. Uh, I don't care. So over here is an escape rope, which we could use to get out of this building. So I will be doing that. Uh, that would be in our bag, I believe. Yes, it is. And here we go. Escape ropes would be awesome in real life. <laughs> Just spin and then you somehow end up outside of where you were. I guess it's kind of like teleportation. Well, this must be some fancy ass ropes. Anyways, here's Faulkner and we will be taking him on. So let's jump into this gym battle, our first one of the LP. Yo, champ in the making. I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me. If you go, if you believe, then the, a championship dream can't come true. You believe. You believe? <laughs> then listen. 
The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. Okay, I didn't need your help, but whatever. Whoa! Yeah, here's a feature in this. You can just bypass everyone and, you know, face a gym leader, which I hate. It's kind of stupid. I like to go through, beat all of his little cronies, then whip the shit out of their gym leader. That's just my take on it, though. I can't believe how ridiculously high this is, but from up here, you can tell what it feels like to be a bird Pokemon. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. Yeah, I'm definitely good enough. I'm gonna squash all of your stupid little birdies. Spiro, all right, cool. It's the first time we've seen Spiro in this LP. So let's uh, take a chunk out of him with a bite. Almost a one-shot kill. Well, let's we'll squirt him in the face with a little bit of water for the win. Why not? Water to the face. And your Spiro has fainted and I'll gain 11, 111 points. All right, up to the next guy. If I could, you know, walk properly, that'd be helpful. There we go. Ho ho! You some kind of big shot? We'll see. What happens if you get pushed around up here? Think you'll stagger and fall? People here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Bring it on. That guy just threatened to push me off like a 12-story building to my death. That is messed up. Make sure to kick both his bird's asses. Freaking Pidgey. I was debating on getting a Pidgey or a Zubat, but I'd rather have the Zubat. I had a Pidgey in my last LP, so might as well change it up, get a different type of flying type Pokemon. Another Pidgey. Keep battling. Take a chunk out of this one, too. See you later. Bye, Pidgey. Level 17, man. We're flipping, growing fast. That's for sure. Alright, so here we go. Hero versus Faulkner. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of a magnificent bird Pokemon. Yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. Alright, Faulkner, bring it on. Flippin' blue, flippin' twit. Level 9 Pidgey versus a level 17 Pedodile. Uh, my money's on the Pedodile. Ooh, really? You're gonna stand up to me, eh? Well, too bad. I'm gonna chomp you in half. Chicken for dinner. Yum, yum. Finger looking good. Alright, let's speed things up here. Pidgeotto. That's what I'm talking about. That's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Let's keep battling here. Level 13. Uh, yeah, we'll use a bite on him. I barely did anything. Gust, eh? Water gun. You guys think I crap on me. And you're gonna die. One more shot. Roost! Doesn't that give you health? Yeah, you little dick. I hate this flipping loser. I'll just keep squirting you in your chest. Make you nice and moist for dinner when I chomp into you in one more hit. Ow! Thank you. See you later. Bye. Get out of here. This is my show. 313 experience points, that's a hefty amount of points. Understand, I'll be out gracefully. Yeah, get out of here. I'm gonna throw you off the building, you and your flipping cronies. For pity's sake, my dad cherished bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat. Alright, take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is a Zypher badge. Hero, hero is you, the Zypher badge for Falconer. Yay! With that badge, Pokemon including traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. So TM51, Rock Smash, I believe. By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. I think before you act, the TM can only be used once. Also got Roost, I don't care, I'll never use it, so. Now we gotta make our way to Azela Town, or whatever the hell it's called. I believe I'm saying that right. If not, whatever. Let's go down. Whee! Ooh, phone call. Professor Elm. Hello? Hero, we discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon in Violet City. Could you meet him and pick up the egg? Uh, I don't want to carry the egg. I know what it's going to be, but I'll do it anyways. So, here's the Pokemon, obviously, it's right beside the gym. Convenient, very convenient. Here's the nerdy guy with glasses that you gotta talk to. Long time no see, hero. I've been waiting for you. This is Professor Elm. The thing is, we would like you to take care of an egg. 
Here to receive the aid from the assistant. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about, but after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than Hero. Then he insisted that I had, hand this egg to you. That's how I came here, to deliver the egg to you. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch if it only keeps in your party a Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, Hero. Please take care of it. <laughs> the more and more I talk like the guy, the more and more he starts sounding like a robot. Who is this flipping geisha looking mother? Uh, me, oh my. That egg must be. I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to the Professor Elm and from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly important egg. Please do take care of it for me. Is that understood? Spin, spin, spin. I'm counting on you. I don't know what the deal with that spin was, lady. You flipping drunk or something? Alright, guys. So I'm going to call that video here, and in the next video we'll make our way to Azela Town, or wherever you say it. So I'm here to call me. I'm LP in the world. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it, guys. Subscribe if you're not subscribed for more Pokemon greatness. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.